Successful food photography is about more than just posing the food itself. It's about putting it in context, having some other objects around it to give it some interest and to place it in where it should be. When you're photographing food that's presented in a circular bowl or plate, I find the best approach is to take a picture of it face down from above, like I'm doing with this bowl of soup here. However, that's not the world's most interesting picture, so I'm going to add some things to it. But before that, this bowl of soup is not one that I'm going to eat right now, so I've let it go cold so that there's no steam coming off it. It's interesting because a lot of food photography involves actually capturing that steam, but in this instance, with the camera directly above it, any steam would just spoil the shot. It would steam up the lens and make it hard to see what I'm doing. So in this case, even though the food is pretending to be hot, it's actually cold. But I'm going to try and make it a bit more interesting by adding some props. And the most obvious one with soup is, of course, a spoon. So I'm going to pop the spoon on the side here, reframe my shot, that looks okay, but I think we can do it at a more interesting angle, maybe just up here. It's at a slight angle. Let's uh, try that shot. Not bad, but again, I think we can do even better still. So how about a nice piece of bread to go with the soup? And I'm going to put that at a slightly opposite angle to the spoon, maybe get a little bit closer so that bread is cropped off. Actually, I want to see the corner of that. That looks a bit nicer like that. And don't be afraid to crop these things. They can look better when you chop them off. You don't have to see the whole slice of bread here. I want to go in a little bit closer. And this is already beginning to look like a much better shot. However, the soup itself is looking a little bit plain. I need something in the middle, maybe uh, some herbs or some yogurt or cream stirred into it. Or how about uh, some sea salt? So I'm going to sprinkle some of that on the top and that's going to give it some texture and some contrasting color. And this is going to sink into the bowl quite quickly. So you want to take that shot quite shortly after you pop it in. And that is already looking so much better than that plain bowl of soup did before. Okay, so let's review these images. And this first picture shows some nice contrast between the soup, the white bowl and the slate in the background. So I've got the basis of a good shot here, but it's just a bit empty. It's a bit lonely. There's no texture to the surface of the soup. And it's really lacking some props, something interesting on the side. In this next picture, I've simply added a spoon and it already looks so much better. We're still lacking the surface textures on the soup, but this is looking pretty good. It does, however, highlight that there's nothing on the other side. There's nothing wrong with a bit of negative space, but in this instance, it really could do with something. In the next shot, I've added a slice of bread and that balances out against the spoon. I like the angle, the position, but I'm a little bit too far away from the actual soup itself. There's too much space around it. And again, there's still no texture on the surface of the soup itself. In this shot though, I've resolved a lot of those remaining issues. I've gone in closer to really concentrate on the soup. It means that I've cropped a bit of the spoon and the bread, but that's not a problem because it's not about these props. They are just there to really draw your attention to the context of the soup itself. But as importantly, I've sprinkled some sea salt on the top of the soup there and it makes that surface texture look a lot more interesting. This is a much more visually appealing image and it's the one that I would post. Oh.